Hi everyone and welcome to your tarot love messages. We're going to take a look at and see what the cards want to reveal to you. Okay, so what messages are you being guided to and you know what is it that's led you to this reading here today? It is going to be a general reading guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you are after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address below. So once again, this is going to be a collective message here. So so as long as you've clicked on this reading, there's obviously some message or two that's in the reading here that's intended for you. So perhaps it's something that you need to be reminded of. Perhaps it's something that it's a message that you might need to hear. Okay, so let's go ahead and begin. We won't be posing any questions. We'll just see what is it that the universe wants you to know right now at this point point in time That's straight. So the Wheel of Fortune, the Two of Cups, the Queen of Swords, Ten of Swords, the Devil, and the Four of Wands. Firstly, I'd like to begin by saying everything is destined, so stay calm. Um, you know, the, the heartbreak, the pain here, the joy, the happiness, all of it is interwoven into your destiny. I feel like a lot of you watching and listening to this, you're destined for a turn of events. The wheel of fate, the wheel of fortune here is destined to spin, and um, I feel like the energies here are definitely shifting and they're looking favorable here. It feels as though fate is spinning new directions here and fate and destiny is definitely going to be taking center stage in your life over the next couple of weeks or months here. I feel like you are going to be sorry, you are going to be presented here with new opportunities and new chances. Expect the unexpected and definitely be open to it. Of course, the Wheel of Fortune in combination with the Two of Cups is indicative of a soulmate connection, a soul partner. It feels like there's definitely destiny at work here. The two here make an absolute beautiful pairing. To me, it feels like there's friendships that are blossoming into romantic connections. It feels like a lot of you are becoming in touch with your soul's destiny. Um, you're being put onto a path. You're even being redirected onto a path um, that it feels like it's a soulmate, a soulmate connection here. Some of you are moving up in the world. There's a lot of positive changes, positive developments here, getting what you want, unexpected outcomes and turn of events, though looking favorable here. Definitely a feeling of deep connection to people and places, uh, discovering your life purpose here, um, momentum, um, progress, forward momentum, promotions here. Okay, because the wheel of... Fortune here symbolizes the eternal life of the soul here and all the changes that your soul goes through. And right now, I feel like a lot of you watching and listening here, you're definitely, you know, it feels like there's an expansion of opportunities here in your energies. And it feels like there's, I'm seeing a lot of vision, clarity and optimism being brought to you, the seeker here. And of course, it's a big destiny card here. What is meant to be will be, okay? What is meant for you will not miss you here. And everyone, you have to understand that everyone that's shown up in your life, okay, to date, and everyone that will show up in your life over the next few days or weeks here, you have to understand that, you know, this is due to a divine prearrangement. 
things work out or even things not working out, which is still a part of the plan, is all due to divine timing and divine intervention here. Okay, so the fact that I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune and the Two of Cups, this to me is strongly indicative of um, a soul connection to certain energies around you or to certain energies that are going to enter your life here. I'm also picking up the message that you need to relinquish control, let go of control. Some of you are trying to really manipulate um, an outcome of a certain romantic connection or a certain situation in general here. The Wheel of Fortune is a reminder and it serves as a reminder that you belong to something bigger, you are a part of something bigger, you know, the, the divine wheel of divine consciousness here. Even if you feel like you're lost and alone, or even if you feel like you're you know, on the wrong path or you're with the wrong person here, or you feel like you're out of sync or out of touch here, you, um, you can never really be disconnected from this wheel of life, you know, and you need to trust in yourself, you need to trust in the divine timing and the divine arrangement, and you need to understand that the best is yet to come here. So for a lot of you, I am seeing the Wheel of Fortune together with the Two of Cups. This pairing does denote a very strong sense of destiny and bond taking place, especially between you and um, a certain energy here. It feels like your souls are connecting, your souls are in vibrational alignment with one another. Some of you are going to be meeting your soulmate by chance, by destiny. Others, you already have your soulmate in your life. It's just that that recognition may be taking place here. Now, the Queen of Swords and the Ten of Swords here. This tells me that those who have caused you pain, okay, swords are a weapon, they are a destructive energy. So, those who have caused you pain are also a part of your destiny. Hear me out, okay? Your pain, some of you, you've mentioned, you know, I know that some of you have been involved with the wrong person or you have been in a toxic type of situation in a toxic um, with a toxic energy here or you know there's just this sense of toxicness here but it feels like in some of your life's events here whether recently or in the past have been painful and unfortunately you have been on the receiving end of hurt and betrayal but your pain is leading you to your destiny the fact that you're with the wrong one um, is because the wrong one is putting you onto a path to the right one here. So understand that each person that comes into your life teaches you something. You know, they're either a blessing or a lesson. And for a lot of you, even if you have been involved in a toxic relationship or with a toxic person, it still has served a powerful purpose. And it's, it's you know, it's led or it's leading you to your destiny here. Look, granted, some events here are definitely painful and some of you have had a lot of difficult times, a lot of emotional turbulency here. But learn to surrender here, okay, learning to surrender here and trusting in yourself, trusting in your destiny here, because I'm seeing that out of, even out of misfortune, there can come a lot of fortune for you here, and a lot of you, I don't think you're realizing, but that pain, it, it's not defining you, it's refining you, and it's, you know, those painful times, or those painful encounters, and those painful relationships that you've had here, they're shaping you into the person that you truly need to be in order to, you know, manifest and fulfill your destiny here, and a lot of you are stronger because of it, right? You are, you're stronger because of you know, the person who hurt you or the person who rejected you or the person who betrayed you. That's all character building. And it to me, it's very important for you to know that without that person or without that situation that you've experienced, you wouldn't be who you are here today. The pain is growing you, it's shaping you, it's, it's making you stronger. And for some of you, it's even redirecting you onto a different path here. Onto a path that is a promised land of your destiny. The pain is leading you. That's the other message that I get. It feels like it's leading you to some of your biggest life lessons here. The pain, some of you feel a pain in the sense of shame, guilt, even like um, resentment here. But a lot of you, it's important for you to know that it's leading you to, it's propelling you to a much clearer destiny. It's preparing you uh, for, 
to change your perspective about yourself and about your experience here. And it's like a portal. To me, it's important for you to view, you know, these last couple of, I don't know, it could have been days, weeks, or months for some of you. Um, and especially any really, because notice with the Ten of Swords, the darkness with the Ten of Swords, and the, you know, the dark here that's being depicted in the, with the devil here, okay? Especially for those of you that have gone through a very dark time in your life. This to me feels like it's sort of like a portal and it's taking you so much further along in your journey here to get to the right one or the right set of circumstances or to, you know to get you closer to your destiny. So don't try avoiding confronting painful things in your life like uh, some of you who have been hurt in relationships you shouldn't try avoiding getting into a relationship of course you shouldn't rush it you should take your time here but some of you it feels like you're you know you may be avoiding pain or um confronting painful things in your life and it's important because sort of confronting that pain that hurt that anger that resentment you know those personal insecurities here that leads you through that maze of life into where you need to go here to that finish line. Because the Four of Wands tells me that you're entering a new phase of your life, okay? And it's definitely going to, to me, it feels like it's definitely going to transition you here. This is excitement, this is homecoming, it's a sense of family, it's success, it's celebration here, the Four of Wands. You have a lot to celebrate, okay? And to me, it feels like there are certain energies that accompany you on your journey. It also feels like a lot of you are celebrating your success. Now, success is defined differently by everyone listening and watching this, and, you know, rightfully so. But I feel like a lot of you are going to be solidifying a very important connection. Yes, a soul partner, a soulmate connection here. Um... And a lot of you are just, I feel like you're celebrating here. It's a card of celebration. It's a card of reunion or like a return home. Some of you, I feel like in the next couple of weeks, there's a strong message of returning home and you're going to be embraced by absolute loving energies who are so supportive and um, who just love and adore you here. There is someone here who I feel like is coming home back to you. So someone who I feel like maybe you've lost touch and someone who's fallen off your radar and all of a sudden, you know, um, when two people are meant to be together, despite time and distance wedging them apart, if two souls are definitely, you know, re if they recognize each other and if they're destined for each other, the universe here will conspire and will work tirelessly behind the scenes to ensure that they find their way back to each other. And some of you, let me let me say that, that there is someone here who's finding it's this their way back to you or you're finding your way back to them. This is why it feels like it's a homecoming or a reunion of some sort it's like you revisiting what you once had with this person and you're reconnecting and you're rebuilding here now for some of you this is someone whom you maybe got off um on the wrong turn or on the wrong like you got off on the wrong foot with this person but that's okay because sometimes as i like to say life's greatest adventure sometimes begin on the wrong turn right but it's definitely a cause for celebration, reunion, or return home. But it, and it feels like, you know, it's been a bit of a journey, whether it's a journey that you've embarked on alone lately, or it's, if it's, you know, there's been someone who's, who's been there to accompany you very closely on your journey. But to me, it feels like you've been on some sort of journey lately, and it feels like pain was a very, though painful and uncomfortable, it was a very important part of this journey. But the universe definitely wants you to know that you are where you're exactly where you are. Um, you're where you are right now. Sorry, let me rephrase that. Where you are right now is exactly where you need to be to get to where you know you need to go, um, or to get to whom it is that you need to meet and cross paths with. So, just gonna you know wrap up this reading, you know, and circle back to everything and everyone is interwoven into your destiny. Okay. Um, and everything, you know, the people that you meet, even the people that you don't meet, it is all part of the divine orchestration 
So just relinquish any control, um, trust the process, respect the process, don't rush the process and just understand that things are not happening to you, they are you know, happening for you, they are working out for you. Even the things that you feel aren't working out for you, they're also a part of the plan. So just understand that there are so many positive developments that are happening for you and even for those of you that are going through a dark night of the soul. You're going to come out on the other end of it, you will, and you're going to become stronger because of it. Um, and, you know, after every dark night, there is a bright day. And after a separation, there is, not always, but there is a reunion, there is a homecoming. You know, after going away and traveling foreign shores, there's always that homecoming, that return, returning home. So for a lot of you, it just, there's just so many, the Wheel of Fortune spins and it's definitely, you know, working things out in your favor. So trust that there are amazing things to come for you because there are, there truly are. All right, guys, and on that note, that's your reading. So thank you as always for watching, for listening. Thank you guys for your support. If you're interested in a personalized reading, one, two, in which I will tailor it to you and your situation, feel free to connect. My email address is listed below. Otherwise, guys, bye for now.